Hey, this is Chris, and I am Chuck and Dice. I appreciate you watching my video. Uh, today, I am going to be showing you a simple 6-8 strategy. Now, I like to play the dark side a lot of the times, and I will play a hybrid strategy, as you know. But uh, if I feel like the table is just uh, trending light side, if I've lost a good amount of money hitting points, I will switch up to a more basic 6 and 8. And I wanted to show you a strategy that I use that uh, gets me into the profit pretty quick with just a few hits on either the six or eight, which, as you know, is uh, uh, is you know they're they're the most likely numbers to hit besides the bad number besides the seven. So anyway, this is a simple six and eight strategy, and I thought I'd share it with you and show you uh, how I play when the table's light side or you just want to play light side. It only takes thirty six dollars. Uh, that's an $18 six and an $18 eight. And uh, you can be uh, in it for 36 bucks, pretty low risk. Um, I use that with a $300 bankroll. So um, I, what I do is I start with an $18 six and an $18 eight. And I need to get some change because I've got to cap the the uh, six and eight here. All right, so there's my change. That goes away. All right, so $18, six and eight to start with. Now, work or don't work? This is the question. To me, you're gonna risk a six and eight. You're risking $36. Here's one thought for you. If you want to worry about the seven, you can throw a, uh, I don't have the hops out here, but you can hop the uh, six and eight for, uh, you can hop, sorry, you can hop the seven for six bucks. That will win $30 and get you back to almost even. Of course, any other number and you just lost six bucks. I'd rather not hedge that, but what I would like to do is go ahead and work, work the six and eight on the come out because, you know that little, man, you can hardly even see that, uh, the light washes that out. I wonder if I put it right in front of it, if you can read it on the table any better. Just really washed out in the light. But anyway, there's an on puck there, or an on chip there, Lammer. And um, uh, I'm going to work it because I don't want to risk missing a six or eight. And they happen so often. Let's see. Let's go with the green dice today. I'm just going to randomly roll. This is what happens at the table when I'm feeling like I want to stay light side and I want to have the potential to win. So I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to work it and let's just see what happens. Random roll in here. And there's an eight. All right. So we got the initial payoff we're looking for, which is a hit on the inside. Not the bad number. Now, what's going to happen? That eight is going to pay 21. And I'm just going to collect the first one. So there's a $21 hit. I've got 36 at risk. There's a seven out. Okay, so uh, that's not ideal. I'm glad I went ahead and worked that eight. So I lose the 36 bucks. That's going to come down. I'm going to give them 25, 35, 36. All right, so I'm giving them 36 bucks. And they're going to set my six and eight back up again, $18 each. All right. So I'm just going to be back up working. <clears throat> There's my on button that you can't read. New shooter. So I got one shot out of that and that was not good. All right. We got a six. So this is why you work Four two easy six. All right. So that six is going to pay 21. I'm just going to rack it looking for another hit. And there's a seven, so we have 2.7 outs back to back. Also, why I work it on the come out at this level, it's the better play, in my opinion. I'm gonna lose the 36, but I collected 21, so I'm really only down $15 on that shooter. No worries, I'm gonna toss in another 35, 36. They're gonna take that from me, and we're going back up for 36 bucks. And once again, we're working. New shooter coming out. 
six. Well, this has worked out so far in our favor. It doesn't always happen that way. I promise you that. But here it did. We've got six as the point. We're going to win $21. We collect that. And we're looking for a second hit. Can we get past the second roll? Six. All right, good. Six easy. Five, one. That is going to be the point. For us, that doesn't matter much, except that now we're going to collect another $21. Now I've collected $42 on this shooter. $42 in. I am going to stay off. I'm okay staying off now We're with the puck. I'm not on. And I'm looking for a new point. And there's a seven. So, again, I'm off with the puck at this point. Seven is a frontline winner. There's another seven. This is all feel at this point, but because I collected this and now I've got this paid for, I don't want to risk losing it. So I'm going to stay with the puck. And we're looking for a point. Five, Fever. Four and a one. All right. So the new point is five. Now, now I'd really like to hit that six and eight again because that allows me to start pressing. So there's an eight hard. That's a four and a four. All right. So that eight is going to pay 21 again. This is what I want you to see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to ask them to take me to 30 each. Okay. So here's what's happening. So there's 25 and 25. So I'm just going to do it this way. There's my quarters. There's five. Okay. So I'm going to change that. And we've got our 30 here. I've got $2. I need three more bucks, right? Because I, I have to chip in three from my rack to do a slight power press. Now I'm taking this eight and six up to 30 each. All right. 30 each. Now I've got 30 each paid for. I'm looking for more sixes and eights, the most likely numbers to roll besides the bad number. And there's an eight easy. All right. So this is a good example of what happens here. So now that eight is going to pay 35. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to collect it. That's my collect five. All right. So five is the point. That's going to be off now. And I'm going to be off with the puck. And that's a bummer because that's a four, two, six. So six is going to be our point. No worries. There's an eight. All right. So eight is going to pay 35. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sacrifice um, a little bit of money. No, I'm not really even sacrificing. I'm sorry. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this into red chips. And I'm taking these up to 42 each. So it's going to be three unit, three reds, and one nickel. Okay, so I'm going to rack two dollars or two reds here. And I'm just going up to 42 each. Oops, what did I do? There we go. So there's 25, 35, 40, and 42. There's 42 each that are going to pay uh, 49. I'm going to pay 50 for one every time they hit. Eight. All right, this is a, an exceptional hand. That 42 is going to pay 50 for one. All right. I'm just going to collect the first hit. Collecting that 50. And there's a 7 out. All right. So you see, what I did is I started with $36 at risk. Got it built up to $42 just, uh, just by pressing and um, collecting after I paid for those bets. So there's 25 35 36 So I'm going to come over here to the dealer stack. And I'm going to go back to oops, 18 on the 6 and 8. I need two more white chips here. Uh, 
and we're working again. New shooter coming out. There's an eight. I'm kind of incredulous. I can't believe how much that's worked for me on the come out. I do get burned occasionally. That eight is going to pay 21. I'm just going to collect it. Looking for one more hit. And I think that's going to be a seven. We'll see. We got a oh, two. Yep. Whoops. The dice rolled there. Ah, there we go. It was a five, two, seven out. All right. So once again, we had a one hit and out. That's going to come down. And we're going to toss in 35, 36. Ask the dealer to give us a six and eight for... 18 each. Oops. New shooter coming out. We are working. Five fever. No field five. That is going to be the point. And we're ready to go. Four hard. Two and a two. Ten down on the other end. Easy ten. Five fever. All right. Five is the point. Still haven't hit. We're going to still work. We're working them. Haven't hit one yet. There's a 10 hard. All right. So 10 hard. 10's the point. And we are still looking for a six or eight. We have not hit the six or eight yet. There's a nine hitting every number but the inside. There's a hard eight. All right. It's going to be a $21 win. And that is hit number one on that shooter. I'm looking for another one. This roll has gone on long. It's uh, starting to worry me a little bit. There's a 5 1. 10 hard. All right. Point made. Uh, you know, it's been a while. I'm going to leave these off. I know I've already hit once. The point's been made, but we had a long roll. Just made the point. I'm going to go with the puck and leave them off. There's a nine. So we got a nine as the new point. Still need another six or eight. There's a nine right back. Buck shot, as they say. Nine is the point. We're off with the puck again. There's a three ace deuce. Seven, frontline winner, puck is off, no harm. Three, craps, three, line away, pay the don'ts. Still looking for a point. Four, all right, four easy. Three and a one, four is going to be the point. All right, so now we're on, looking for our second hit on the six or eight. There's a ten. This shooter is throwing outside numbers a good amount of the time, so I'm starting to worry a little bit, but... Not too much. There's a six, a five, and a one, an easy six. So that's going to be our second winner. $21. Now, if you're feeling a little aggressive, you can just go straight to pressing after the first hit if you want to. I'm not likely to do that unless I'm way ahead. There's a four, one, five. Four. All right, point made. Fire bet's looking hot. I think that's our third or fourth point. I'm going to stay off with the puck. And midnight. Take the line. Pay the... Oh, push on the don't. <laughs> Get paid on that 12. There's a seven. Come out winner. Natural. All right. Five. That doesn't count for the fire bet because we've already rolled the five as the point. All right. Still looking for our second winner on the inside. Three. 2-1. 8 hard. There we go. Hard 8. All right. I'm sorry. We had our second hit. We had our second hit. Here's the third hit. So, 21. I'm going to throw in 3 from my rack. Throwing in 3 from my rack allows me to power press up to $30 on the 6 and 8. So, there's a quarter and a quarter. I need 50 bucks. There's 25, 50, 
50 in red chips to the house. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There's my white chips. That's why I add three to get me to 10. That allows me to press the uh, six and eight up to 30. And I'm ready to go. So again, that's $60 in bets there that are completely paid for because I hit twice before I started pressing. So I've paid for those bets. There's a hard 10, five and a five. Eight hard. Man, that's a lot of hard ways coming today. Uh, so that eight is going to win 35. And I'm just going to take the 35. Now what you could do, if you want to, we can do it. Let's take this 35. We'll go ahead and collect the quarter. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit. Actually, I don't need to add anything. I just need to get the change differently. So there's, I'm going to take a dollar in change and $4 uh, in white chips. And I'm taking the six and the eight to 42. So you could just press it straight up with that 35 bucks. That's okay. Takes 24 to get you up there. And you're pressed all the way up. So there's a yo 11. And a five point made. We are still on the same shooter. Another point made. We'll stay off with the puck, off with the puck. Looking for another point. And there's a point of four. Three and a one, easy four. All right. Oh, rolled over one last time. That is a seven out, four and a three. All right. So we're going to lose here. We got them pressed up to four. 42 each did not collect on those, but um, that's okay. So we're going to throw in 36 one more time. Let's do it again. And we're going to go up to 36 on the 6 and 8. I need one more white chip on those. All right. And... As usual, we are going to be working on the come out. All right, here we go. Looking for a new point. Oh, there we go. There's a seven. Seven frontline winner, and we are working. So they're going to take the $36 there. We're going to have to replace that. 25, 35, 36. Steelers, please put us back up on the six and eight working. And they're going to go right back up. Same shooter still coming out. Four. Easy four. It's going to be the point. All right. We are working now. Looking for sixes and eights. Aces. Four. Hard four. Point made. Uh, let's work it. Working those. Ten down on the other end. All right, so we are still looking for six and eight. There's a six. Easy. Five and a one. It's going to be a $21 winner. Just going to collect it. Hit number one. Looking for a second one. And there's a hard 10. We have now made a point of four and a point of 10 on this shooter. Uh, let's go ahead and be off. We're going with the puck now because we've rolled a few times. And there's a hard four. All right. So back on the point of four. Sixes and eights. Let's do it. There's a three, two, five, five fever. Eight. Here we go. All right. That's a five and a three. It's going to be another $21 winner. And I'm going to pull a trick I showed you earlier or talked about earlier. I didn't do it, but I'm going to go ahead and go straight up. So for a nickel, I'm going to get some change. And I need to throw in three. So I'm going to collect $2. And here is what I need to go straight up to 42. So let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There's my greens. This is a shortcut because I did not wait till two collects. I went ahead and pressed it up after collecting one. There's five and ten. 
basically I'm risking the $15 difference at this point because I did not wait for my second hit. Just a decision you make based on how the game's going. There's a hard 10 and a lot of hard ways coming. Five fever, no field five. Come on, hit that six or eight again. There's another hard eight. Wow, all the hard ways coming. There's an eight, it's gonna pay 35. Oops, one green, not two. All right, so thir 35, I'm gonna take the green get some reds. So now what I'm doing is adding two to the six, two to the eight, and I need a nickel in whites. I'm gonna get one in change, and I'm gonna use this four to press the six and eight up to 42. All right, so now we're at 42 on the six and eight. Three craps, three. AC Ducey. Five fever. Let's get a six or an eight. Midnight. All the dots we got. There's another five, three and a two. Up here in the corner, another five, three, two, five, hot five. All right, and there's an eight. Yes, sir, five and a three. So we now have 42, we're gonna pay 50 for one. 50 for one, and I'm gonna take a little bit more of a risk now, do what you want. I'm gonna go straight up to 60 from 42. So I will just uh, collect. What I'm basically collecting is 14 here. And I used both of those green chips to press me up to 60 again. Lots of options, lots of options. We're in the profit. Midnight. Back to back midnight. See a horn, bet a horn. And that's gonna be a five, three, two, five. And another midnight, three out of the last four rolls. And there's a seven. Yuck. Yuck, yuck. All right. Well, that's all right. Finally got them pressed up big. And uh, then red comes. That happens. No worries. But uh, anyhow, this is where we're at. This is what we got. One, 150, and 250. Three hundred, three twenty-five, three thirty, three thirty-five, three thirty-seven, three thirty-seven. All right, so I'm up thirty-seven bucks, and that was real quick. And I played a few different variations on it, but the idea is that if you start with a six and eight, you can start lower if you want to, but it just takes more. You know, you have to start with uh, two hits on whatever, two hits on twenty-one uh, at twenty-one wins forty-two. From there, you can start pressing up. You throw in $3, and you can press them both to 30 and you're on your way up. You obviously need a long roll with a lot of uh, sixes and eights, but you can also take those bets down or pull them down anytime you feel uncomfortable or feel like your your roll is getting long. Uh, you know, whatever you want to do there, that's your decision. But anyway, this is a simple six and eight strategy to get pressed up. I've used this several times to get to uh, 60 and even $90. You get to the $90 level with one more press, and then you're collecting a black chip every time. 90 uh, pays 105, and uh, that's a nice payday. So anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.